Right, let's have a look at some essentials. Well, what I think is essential to have on you whilst you're fishing. Um, that's going to keep you warm, dry, comfortable, um, and just enjoying your time on the bank. So here's a few tips, a few items that I've got um, with me that make my life on the bank a lot easier. I think first thing is obviously you've got to have a shelter, so it doesn't matter what type of shelter whether it's a pram hood brolly system or you know something like the tempest or the nash titan which is a bit of a hybrid of both of them really isn't it um so yeah shelter is obviously number one on the list a few cheap carpets um these are just pound land ones cost a pound each um and they are great to throw in the bivy bag or the boot of your car and um, they just stop so if it had been raining when you're walking in that just stops getting that pool of soggy mud inside your bivy and also if you are fishing with a ground sheet which i do do sometimes not often um just stops the water as you're walking in that if you find you're getting puddles of water in your bivy on your ground sheet invest two pound in some cheap mats and that will completely eliminate it bivy table I think is oh it's up there in the top five I would say um, of things to have in your buffet um, to make things a little bit easier doesn't matter what bivy table you've got as long as it's some sort of table um, it just keeps everything to hand and anything you know that you're going to be using um, and stuff like that so bivy table is essential next one is a power bank um, so obviously used for charging your phone, head torches, anything else that needs a charge. Absolutely essential. Bigger the better. Um, this is a fairly big one. I'll probably charge my phone 10, 11 times off this before this needs charging again. So i um, very happy with this one. Charging cables. Obviously if you've got a power bank or anything that needs charging, if you ain't got the cables with your well you ain't charging nothing are you what i bring is one cable and it's got an adapter so if you've got a samsung or anything that type, takes a type c charger then that is what that adapter is and that actually came with my phone um so that one is for charging my phone and that is for charging my head torch should my head torch need a bit of love um it's very unusual because i am um, always charge my head torch at home and it lasts so long between sessions um that i don't actually have to charge it that often so yeah if you can take the one lead get an adapter or something for it you can actually buy ones that have got all the adapters sort of attached to it and you've only got one lead to bring and you can just flick between the adapters as and when next i believe a good call cool bag is another essential <coughs> if you haven't got a call cool bag your food's just not going to stay cool is it i mean the clue's in the name so this is the fox camo light i think it's a large one that they do i don't know but this is perfect for me for you know a 24 maybe a long 24 where i might do a night a full day and maybe a night and off early next morning um so i mean in here keep all your food and i have everything prepped ready to go uh before so there's very little cooking and prep time so all my salad and everything is cut up we also nick from mcdonald's which is i think another crafty tip whenever you go to the pubs and stuff like that mcdonald's grab a few sachets absolutely brucey bonus they are you just leave them in the fridge or wherever um and then when you go in you just grab a couple I think I've got what else? I've got, got another one. Sweet and sour. Pfft, beautiful. Um got some toasties down there. But yeah, a couple of blocks in there. And that is you eating and your food being nice and cool, nice and safe, not sweating if you've got any meats and stuff like that. So again, another essential is a good quality call bag. Another essential is cookware, um, pans, 
frying pans, whatever. But what I would suggest if you can get one is a Ridge Monkey. Um, this is absolutely brilliant. There are other variants. Go outdoors, do one for 15 quid. Um, I think NGT do one as well. It's all down to quality, though, at the end of the day. And Ridge Monkeys is up there with some really good non stick um, and stuff like that. This is the older one, the new one. The arms come off and they all store inside and stuff like that. But I got this when they first bought the large one out. Um, I did have the small one as well, but I don't use that anymore. It's just too small. There's nothing I cannot cook in this. Brilliant. Absolute essential. I would suggest some type of Ridge Monkey-esque frying pan. Next up is a good stove. Um, what I would recommend getting is one that sort of sits flat. It's got legs that fold out. So in its compact version and it's in its bag, that sort of all wraps around there. And that goes inside this little pouch there. Um, and the gas goes in there. So definitely, if you're going to buy a stove... Don't get ones that screw onto the top of your can. Trust me, I've done it. I didn't want to spend the extra 10, 11 quid that it was to get one of these. Um, I was just being a tight ass. But now that I've done it, I mean, I've had this a few years now, um, completely changed my life. No more pans falling off the top of the ones that sit on here and losing my dinner and everything like that. It's nice and flat, low to the ground. So most things slip off. You can catch it or you've caught half your dinner and you've only lost half of it, whereas opposed to losing all of it, if it's on there. Kettle is another good one. Um, I mean, I don't drink tea. Anyone that comes fishing with me knows I don't drink tea. Um, although, saying that, I think I'll, I have got tea bags for like guests that want tea. Don't bring milk because I'm lactose intolerant, so you can certainly have a black tea if you want one. But, um, yeah, you ain't going to get any milk off me. So, yeah, there's another essential. Invest in a decent stove... It uh, doesn't really matter about... I mean, I think this was two quid from Go Outdoors, something like that. Um, yeah, so cookware and stove are essential. The humble water butt. Um, what more can I say about it? Somewhere to store water, isn't it? So make sure you empty it after every session. Fill it back up with fresh water. Um, if you are going to store it at home, what I tend to do is just leave the lid loose like that so it doesn't sweat and stuff and get condensation and mold um so just leave that slightly loose and that will dry out nicely in between sessions um but yeah the water bot is another essential slip on footwear i mean absolute essential for me <coughs> it doesn't matter what they are as long as they slip onto your feet and there's no laces or anything like that that you can trip over and these for me these are just the fox crocs i mean i have got a pair of just black ones and to be fair my black ones are a lot better than these these are quite thin on the sole um sort of thing but they're essential for getting out of your bed quickly in the night to get to your rods good walking boots real proper walking boots don't spend 20 30 pounds on a pair of boots you will regret it when your feet start getting cold and wet and you're on the bank and for me as soon as my feet start getting wet or cold that's it i'm going home these are brashers um they're the country masters probably cost i think i think they cost me 120 i think um but these will last me well until I wear the sole out, but it's, look how long the thick the sole is. My last pair of brushes I've probably had seven years. I wore them to work, um, walking the dog, fishing. So every day, my brushes were on my feet for, like I say, about seven, maybe even eight years, and they cost me a hundred pounds. That set did. They were the Hill Walker. Brasher Hill Walkers, these are the Country Master, so they're a little bit more because there's a bit more protection around uh, the sole and stuff like that, but absolutely essential. Some good boots. Warm garments, I would definitely, definitely say always keep them in your bag, even if you're not wearing them, uh, especially through the autumn, winter and early spring. Um, 
always have them in your bag. Nice woolly hat, some nice warm socks, and some type of scarf or snood, um, which I've got there. It will change your session if you're feeling a bit cold. Stick all that on, bang, you're in order again. Head torch, or head torches in my case. Um, I always keep a spare one. This was the Fox one that I always, always used to use, and then the wife got me this Ridge Monkey one, which is actually really, really good. Um, the dog chewed off the cover for the charger port, which I was a little angry about. Um, but yeah, definitely head torches are an essential. Don't buy the cheap ones, the cheap five, six pound ones. You'll be forever replacing batteries. If you can spend the 20 quid or 25 quid, which I think that Ridge Monkey one cost, um, constantly char you charge it at home you never have to buy batteries again you'll never fall short of batteries if that does run out on a session straight over to the ridge monkey and it's charged again so invest in a good if you can rechargeable head torch and then keep your battery one as a backup and obviously keep batteries in it that i've got some charge and I have spare ones for that I let me lad use that to be honest when um he comes with me so yeah good reliable head torch the next one is obviously a bit more common sense than something that you'd go out and purchase but it is a pocket or somewhere that you store stuff that is quick access um and you know that's the only place that that goes. For example, car keys, any sort of medicine that you take, fishing with you, you know, if you're diabetic or anything like that. Um, even if you've got the flu and you're going to take some tablets with you. So for me, I keep everything in my pocket and my backpack under my bed and I have it orientated this way so I know that this pocket here is where I keep everything. I've got a bit of a sore throat at the moment so I've got some strep pills some vapour rub that are stuck in there today most importantly car keys lose them you're staying down the lake might be a good idea for some people but I do like to go home and see the missus and the kids um, yeah so I'll keep a, a lot of stuff uh, that I need to know where it is and I don't want to lose I keep it in a particular pocket and for you guys that might be something like uh, you know a bed chair buddy or anything like that but for me it is a pocket on my uh, backpack that I stick under the bed and I orientate my bag so then pockets are there like that. The towel, I mean, how simple can it get? Make sure it's a decent size, don't get just, you know, a little tea towel because you're gonna dry nothing with that, especially if you're falling or get caught in the rain, um, dry your hair, if you've got no hair, dry your bald head. Um, but yeah, make sure you've got a towel and you just roll it up and that'll just sit straight in my bag like that. Make sure it's clean. Don't be a tramp leaving your bag for months and you're just washing yourself with some dirty towel. Uh, if you've got a missus like mine who is absolutely top, she'll go in your fishing bag and she'll take it out and wash it for you. So there's a few things that I would probably add to that list. Things like uh, quality waterproofs. Um, don't get cheap ones. You will regret it. They won't last and they're just not as waterproof as, as you know, a good pair. So bear that in mind. Um, good warm jacket. Uh, some sort of puffer jacket or something like that. Some sort of fleece lined jacket. Um, essential. But again, it's all very seasonal, uh, these sort of items. Same with... You know insect repellent and that sort of stuff uh, sort of airing on the side of common sense really than essential bits that will make your life on the bank that little bit easier all year round um, hot water bottle again that's another uh, seasonal option but again can change a terrible cold session into something that's actually ve you know very bearable or enjoyable in some cases stick that at the bottom of your bag um life changer as far as i'm concerned it's you know really turned a couple of sessions around for me when i i used to winter fish before the kids and stuff like that so 
yeah hot water bottle is definitely one again with your essential kit like water butt kettle and stove uh, throw a hot water bottle on that uh, and yeah you're staying warm pretty much the whole time you're on the bank so is there any, anything else that you'd add things like plasters uh, and stuff like that I don't know leave me a comment below anything that you take that you believe is absolutely essential things that make your life a little bit more comfortable or a little bit more efficient on the bank um, yeah, drop it in the comments for us all to have a read through and, and maybe take some tips and hints and stuff like that off, off you guys as well. So it's always nice to read through. And until then, um, yeah, stay safe, guys, and enjoy your fishing.